hello guys welcome back so let's start our flutter uber clone app with web admin panel so as you know that we will have the user app the drivers app and the web admin panel at the end of this course that is we will have a fully functional flutter google clone app with web admin panel at the end of this course so we will do the implementation step by step so please follow me step by step so let's start open up your android studio and then click on new flutter project make sure that from here the flutter is selected and then click next and here you have to provide your project name remember the name of your project must be in small english alphabet and you cannot give space like this for example users space app instead of space you can use underscore okay users underscore app so the name must be in small english alphabet and no space instead of that you can use underscore so let's start from the users app first so this is our user app here we can write some description this is flutter uber clone users app unchecked windows web mac os linux as you know this is the user app that is it will work on the android and ios that is on the iphone so click create of course as i told you we are going step by step after this we will create the drivers app for the android ios and then we will create the admin web panel so our project is now creating let's wait for that so our project is created successfully as you can see that now the first thing that we will do is we will remove the extra code if you scroll here you will see this my home page minimize this by clicking here okay and then the my home page state let's minimize this by clicking on this okay so now we will remove this extra code this is the default code which comes with the flutter new project also let's remove these comments as you can see here now the first thing that we will do is uh, we will create our initial uh, dot files that is our screens or you can say pages that is for the login and sign up user so for that purpose you can see here lib just click on that lib and inside the lib we have our this man dot dot this is basically our default or you can say our starting point of the app that is our app starts from the main okay that is from here so this is our first you can say dot dot file which is meant dot dot from where our flutter application starts whenever we install it on phone so here inside the lib we will create our coding files that is dot dot files so for example we want to create sign up and sign in screen first of all so for that purpose right click on lib okay right click on lib new and first we will create a new folder directory if you are using mac then in mac it is called package okay so let's create a new folder we will give this name as authentication so inside the lib we have our authentication folder so now right click on authentication folder new and let's create the dot file and this name will be sign up sign up underscore screen remember the name of the dot file must be in small english alphabet no space instead of space you can use underscore so this is our first screen which is sign up screen also right click on authentication new dot file we will create the login screen also so we can say login screen press enter so we created sign up screen login screen so go to the sign up screen we will import the material dot dot and then we will create stateful widget we will give it name as sign up screen and then go to the login screen and let's create our login screen so we can say stateful widget we will give it name as login screen